In this video, I'm hoping to finally reach the end of the Daihatsu engine swap saga. Uh, you will recall from the previous video, if you did watch, that we replaced the manifold. We replaced this inlet manifold because, where is it? Uh, that port had snapped off and I tried to bodge it just to get it working. It kind of did, but not what you want for on the road. That's where the brake servo goes. So we bought another manifold online. We fitted it to the engine and then we discovered right last minute that this port for the map sensor had snapped off. So that was great. So we've now got a total of three knackered inlet manifolds. But I have been to Whiteland Restorations today for some toys to borrow. Uh, we have a little drill. I have a drill, but uh, that's the one Lewis uses for similar jobs. So we thought we'd go with it. And in here we have not only drill bits and some taps but some plastic screwing um, adapters so hopefully we can make that fit and it'll fit the hose and everything uh, so uh, we'll see whether that works so that's the plan tap drill tap and uh, yeah hope for the best uh, stage one is going to be to put that somewhere so I don't lose it and uh, I need to see if I can get which one did he say it must be the five number five drill bit yeah because we're going to tap it to m6 i think um can i actually get in there with the drill is the question and it's a bit tight i have a horrible feeling this fuse box is going to get in the way um so let's pop it in the drill and find out this isn't a guaranteed success this job It'd be a lot more successful if i put the drill bit the right way around in the drill so the port is just down there so can I get the drill in? Ooh, I think this might be a, a struggle. Uh, 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 oh, here we go, battery's out. Battery's out, that can then come this way. That bracket is just getting in the way. And that bracket's away. Right, that should now give me access to drill. Yes, there we go. And uh, I can actually use the uh, air conditioning pipe for a bit more. Oh, there we go. Job done. That was uh, nice and easy. And then um, I'm sure the engineering says you take a tap nice and slow and gently wind it in. So obviously we're just going to hammer it in. There we go. Now in theory we should, oh no, I've put the barb somewhere. Where did you put it? you monumental idiot so we'll do a test fit first of all stage two is going to be to just put some um, epoxy on this uh, ignore that that's dog damage uh, just so it seals nice and tight because we need a good vacuum on that so I'll, I'll do that um, off camera so there we go this little white port is our new map sensor port so we'll wait for that to dry with the epoxy and uh, yeah, hopefully that will enable us to connect this map sensor down here to um, that port there. Sorry, it's all a bit dark down there. Uh, I won't actually put all this back together again until that's set, but uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, okay, so I got a little bit distracted. It said wait five minutes, so I got in took and went for a drive to fill her up with petrol. V-power, no less. Uh, that's a bit longer than five minutes, but uh, yeah, we probably better get back. It's so good to be out in took. By the way, we've got um, new uh, fridge magnets available on the store. Took is just one of them. We've got most of the fleet represented. Oh, not Miss Daisy. She came along a bit too late for representation. And uh, we've also done a discount. It's 50 years of Took. So uh, we've done a discount on the Took t-shirts. Uh, they're available uh, for £10.20, I think it is, with a discount, rather than the usual 12 So we can't keep these prices up forever, but if you want a Took t-shirt, that's probably the time to buy one. Right, I haven't got a mount, so I'm afraid you're just going to have to put up with me driving back uh, with you not watching. Sorry, folks. Let's fire you up, Shems. Handbrake on. Into neutral. Hello, happy, displayed on the dashboard. Oh no, that doesn't sound good.
Oh, that's my fault. We haven't actually put the um, air filter assembly back on it properly. That's an easy fix. There it will be if we can get the thing to sit down properly. We also haven't got the math plugged in. I think I'll turn her off and we'll let her do that again because obviously everything's slightly out of kilter. That sounds a bit sucky something in to me. Now it's definitely idling high. Okay, something is wrong. I need to find it. No, I have no idea what the problem is. I have a horrible feeling it's going to be in that gasket because we don't have one. So uh, I think we are going to be getting a sodden manifold off again. <laughs> well, here we are several weeks later um, we only have one microphone between us today so it's attached to a screwdriver because hub nut and uh, yeah we are looking forward to trying to stop this car running badly uh, we have managed to acquire all the way from japan um, some gaskets they're a different color which is slightly alarming i think technically these are meant to fit the 660 cc engine and we're trying to make them fit the 989 but we're hopeful it is actually just the same gasket it yeah. looks very similar. It, sorry, <laughs> we're really good at this. We look well, like yeah. a news broadcast. Yeah. Do you remember in lockdown and whatnot where they had the big stick that they oh, were yeah, yeah. people? So yeah. Stay well away from I'll people. stay over here. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it, looks, it looks very similar. We were concerned about, because there's a stopper almost. Yeah, we've got the stopper gasket that as well. we were worried about, because when we looked at other gaskets online, it didn't have that, did it? No, well, the Greek ones, it was open, so it must be a difference for the Greek markets. We're, we have actually got one on the way from Greece as well, mm -hmm. but at this point, we, we'll just take whatever we can get. Yeah, we are going to just, just run with it. Um, obviously, we've got to um, do the gasket. Um, what are we tightening the crank pulley? Did you yeah, I still haven't done the crank yeah, pulley. I'm hopeful that now the car's on its wheels, we can lock it up enough to yeah, do it. Yeah, because the problem was when we were trying it when she was up in the air is that there was too much movement, so hopefully she'll be static and we can chock her and then that will be fine um and hopefully oh and you need a fresh air no nope. oxygen oxygen <laughs> sensor yeah the oxy oxygen the oxygen sensor here on the uh, manifold i i suspect is duff it's probably been full of oil so i have ordered a new one of those on ebay for about 33 quid we're awaiting the arrival of that I but that, that should your pants over one that was 100 pounds yeah yeah when i first searched on Daihatsu 251 they were coming out 100 pounds each no gracias uh, but hopefully, hopefully that is it and she will hit the road. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're a little bit nervous because we've been here before with this car. We have. <laughs> but hopefully this, this is it. Well, you got to talk, you got to talk, you stick. Okay, so uh, we were attempting to leave the throttle body in place because we had a, well, no, there have been discussions as to whether or not it will fit. Yeah, the, the, um, there's two little coolant pipes on the bottom of this and make it an absolute pig to get out. But that's the gap we've got to get the yeah, entire Yeah, we thought we had enough room for manoeuvres, but we actually haven't, no. so. We're going to have to do battle with those little coolant mm -hmm. lights. Ugh. I remember how fun that was. Yeah, so much fun. So much, so fun. much fun. I'm going to take a brief moment of smug because I said we didn't need to remove the throttle body because we definitely manoeuvred it out of there. And how did that just come out? Uh, I just pushed the throttle body to one side and it came out. Oh. But uh, now, come here, microphone. Uh, you should be able to see that this gasket is absolutely banjaxed, really. Yes, you can't even get it out. It's absolutely rock hard. Now you've got the blockage there, which I'm going to leave that for now. That was not the cause of our issues. Yeah. This is the main one. But can we even get it out? Uh, poke a little screwdriver, I think, is going to be needed. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. <clears throat> So let's get the new one out of the comparative. Yeah. Right? I think it's a bit smaller, but I might just be. Yeah, let's line them up on the pack. No. That's looking pretty much bob on to me. Woohoo! Okay, okay. That's encouraging, that's encouraging. Okay, this is exciting. Yeah. All right, moment of truth time. Uh, do put the handbrake on. 
Oh, she's low. Okay, she's probably going to need a help at that, I think. Bear with. Oh, no, the jump pack's flat. Not for the first time, uh, Ellie is rescuing one of the fleet. So, let's go. That sounds good. That sounds like it's good. Uh, let's just turn Ellie off so we can really appreciate what's going on here. Thank you, Ellie. I think we'll let her warm up. Okay, calm down. Little girl racer in there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Devastating scenes at the game of charades. Uh, it's doing this again. Why is it doing that? That is not the result we were hoping for. There is exciting news from the game of charades. If I um, connect up the throttle position sensor, that seems to be where everything's going wrong. So I think it's just running on a default map. I can't detect what the throttle is. So we're going to swap that out. Kill! And oh. welcome back. Oh, he's pausing. Hello, and welcome back to the charade game. We have just had lunch in the hopes of restorative powers, which yeah, it has. Okay, again. We Hello found to my mate Pete, who was driving past <laughs> as we were having our lunch. We found the previous throttle body, yep, which so I'd actually labelled. So I've nicked the throttle position sensor off it. I don't know if it needs resetting or anything. Shall um, we fire her up? Yeah, I think we'll just fire her up and see where we are. Are you going to take on that duty? Yep. I feel duty bound now. Here we go then. Do the neutral check. Happy. Hopefully this one will be hello happy. That sounds a bit more reasonable. What's that riving at? She's on two, which is quite high for her, but I just looked on Twitter and somebody else seems to have a Daihatsu that sits at two. But she sat a lot lower than that before. She sat on two. Doesn't sound great. Let's see where she is when she's um, warmed up. So today we are at the holy of holies that is Whiteland Restorations. Lots of exciting stuff as usual, but we're here with the manifold on the Daihatsu to try and actually get this project progressing because it's been weeks since I last um, recorded anything on this. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a hole down here, which is where the brake servo pipe should go. What is the plan? Right, so we've got a a, a tail end for, mm -hmm. a, for an airline here. I think it's because it's brass. So I think we're going to cut this off and turn it down so it's about six mil so it fits into that hole because in there there is a tube that slots downwards and if I drill a big enough hole to thread that into yeah we I don't think know that, what that, carnage we're doing that's in gonna, there that's going to make some mess and we yeah. don't want to we don't want to do something that's going to make it run funny no because it's already running it's already funny. running funny that is indeed the problem <laughs> so I think if we turn that down mm -hmm. and then turn it down to six mil to slot into there and then bond that in with some epoxy jobs are good un. jobs are good and we hope Right. Right, let's fire up the lathe. Woohoo! We've had a trial fit, haven't we? And it, it slotted yeah. in, it looks like it belongs there, so that can't be. Too bad. I, I think this is basically the idea someone was telling me I should do, I don't know, six months ago or something? Maybe even longer. <laughs> I will say, this is much, much easier to do when the manifold is not on the car. Yeah. No glue in the hole. There we go, we'll let that dry. Let that dry, that and, should be that. And hopefully this manifold actually works and we'll have a good time. So. Uh, I, do, I hope this fixes your engine problems. Well, yeah, we, we hope it is this, and there's not something else. But yeah, yeah, thank you. 
So next time you see us, we'll be back at the unit again. Nice. Well, it's moment of truth time. Uh, just come round. We're getting the car. It'll be nice and quiet. Then we won't be able to hear this blooming generator. Hello, happy. Oh, hello, happy on the dashboard. Uh, which is why we had stickers made up. Miss Hubnut refuses to fit this sticker to the car until it's um, on the road. Handbrake on, into neutral. Moment of truth yet again. <laughs> the battery's gone flat. What's that all about? That's a much better idle. 1500 revs, cold idle. We heard a bit of a rattle as the oil pressure got up. Yeah, I definitely do need to put some petrol in this car at some point. Oh, okay, but that's meant to bear in mind. Oh no. Oh no. We've got a leak. Well, that settled down lovely, even with the slight air leak. We've got the idle back that we didn't have before. So uh, our efforts have not been in vain. I'm slightly concerned about this scuffing noise over here. I'm kind of hoping it's dirt on the clutch or flywheel or something. Well, as you can see, uh, I got Shemi out. And uh, actually it was just me. It was my fault. That connection wasn't good enough. The, the barbie's slightly too small, so I've tightened up this hose clip. And we appear to be good now. It's running beautifully. There is no blue smoke. Just a bit of condensation because it's a damp day. Remember before it used to just fill the unit with blue smoke. So feeling very happy. Very sad that Miss Hubnut is not here today to share in the revelry, but this is kind of the problem. We've been waiting for days when we're both available. They have been in very short supply of late. Um, let's uh, pull all the lock on. I think I should just get round that. Yes, superb steering lock on this car. And uh, yeah, we can uh, have a bit of a poodle around and actually put a bit of speed on the gearbox. I say bit of speed, like 10 miles an hour, bit of speed. But uh, it's raining and I've got no bonnet, so I can't go too far. But uh, yeah, driving shems. Oh, it's brought the fuel level up a bit as well, bringing her outside. It's gone just above empty, so she's not quite as empty as we feared she was. And uh, Japanese cars tend to um, lay on a bit thick when it comes to being empty. It tends not to quite be the case. Oh, and then brakes are crusty though. We've got some new discs and pads to fit up front. That might be a very good idea, but uh, get her straightened up on the track and Yeah, sounds good. I can't wait to get this car back out on the road again. It feels like we've only just got back to where we should have been months and months ago, but uh, a bit of a slog, but it appears we have got there in the end. Uh, we do actually have a manifold that's actually working. We've got fresh gaskets on that manifold. Everything is good. And there uh, we got double Daihatsu. And uh, believe me, Miss Hubner would quite gladly have triple Daihatsu is a menace but uh there we go uh the charade is out it's running beautifully we can now focus get the bonnet on and hopefully take it for an mot but maybe do that brake replacement uh see where we are with that but yeah very very happy so stay tuned for a future video and hopefully we'll have two daihatsus or die daihatsus if you're welsh back on the road thank you for watching see you soon